Hi, it's Jorge from Team JVS. Today we'll be giving you another exclusive preview of a movie we got to review over at the Toronto International Film Festival called Memory Box Echoes of 9-11. This is a documentary that basically takes a very different look at 9-11, which I, I greatly appreciated. Um, it basically takes a couple of individuals, I think they had roughly about 10 or 12 individuals, that basically the months after 9-11 happened, they recorded them uh, and recorded just how they're feeling, their reactions, um, just everything that was going on in their lives at that present time. Uh, and they did this in multiple locations in obviously New York and then also in the Pentagon. What was really neat and different about this one is that they grabbed all these individuals back, you know, 20 years uh, into the future, basically, so just uh, present day, and they were able to redo these interviews um, in the same exact style, which I thought was very neat. So imagine going into a box, per se, that was, you know, lined with, you know, just like black material, and it's just them and the camera, and, and that's it. So no one there giving them interviews, no one there doing anything, just literally almost like a video diary of sorts and you kind of see what their emotions and what they were feeling 20 years ago and what that's like now um one of the cool ones that that were there there was a, a young lady who literally just gave birth um a few it was like a few weeks after 9 11 and when she and during the interview she had her baby and at the end of it you know when they were kind of doing the the present day um, she had her daughter there, you know, now 20 years old, basically a young woman. Um, and it was just really neat. Um, one of the really cool stories that, that came from it, uh, there was a woman that was trapped in uh, the Pentagon behind some walls uh, when everything happened. And she was telling her testimony and all that. And then they were showing this other gentleman's testimony. And the neat thing was he was the one who kind of rushed back into the building instead of escaping it to save her um and you know it was, i don't want to say it was coincidence that he saved her but it was just neat being able to see from two different points of views of someone who was trying to run out of the building to save their life and someone who was running into the building to save a life um it was it was very touching um as with all you know kind of 9-11 uh, docs that are that are obviously coming out tons fold this year. Um, this one's definitely a good one. I, I would definitely say that um, the directors definitely caught something different that you don't you don't see and hearing the, the personal tales coming from two different angles were were definitely something just really heartwarming and really touching. Um, you know, overall, I would say in terms of uh, how I would rate this in in, in documentaries and all that. Um, I would give this a solid, you know, 7 out of 10. Um, definitely something to watch. Uh, I don't know, realistically, um, how it could have gotten better, to be honest. Um, I, some of the stories, they obviously they were good and they were heartwarming and touching. Um, but obviously with 9-11 still, still having just a very emotional grasp on, you know, um, I'll say our generation, you know, uh, specifically as it, it was kind of the last major attack that ever happened uh, to the U.S. Um, it definitely is something that that kind of is still, it's almost like a, a fresh wound still, uh, even though it was 20 years ago. So um, watching these, obviously, you know, you kind of get brought back to, to those times. But overall, this was this was a very fresh take on on the experience and and on the emotions that other people felt um when you guys see it definitely drop down some comments below let me know what you guys think um overall this was you know like i said two two thumbs up very very unique take on it um a different view on what was happening uh during 9 11 and obviously 20 years later uh but overall as always this is jorge from team jvs and i'll see you next time peace